All right, you guys ready to do some handrails? Got the lights in and everything. All that's good to go. We gotta do some handrails. We got some blue box handrails. And it's been a while since we've done something like this. So let's, let me show you how I like to do this based on our philosophy of making sure everything is maintainable. All right, so here we go. We got the, the Southern Pacific guy out here. He's already got handrails on one side. Look good, okay. So here's what we got. We got a long wire, right? And Athrum Blue Box handrails have, well, there's two sizes in here. There's some long guys and some short guys. Now the long guys are used for special purposes on certain things, and you'll see it as you start doing it. And the short guys are used on everything else. So let's start taking them and putting them on here. And they'll hang on here. We'll just keep putting them on a little bit, and then we'll start putting them in. And I'm going to show you. When you get these at train shows, you'll find them. There's like glue everywhere for these handrails, and that is totally not necessary. And we are going to paint these guys in place. We'll do that later. But let's put on handrails. So we got on here. We got four. Let's get about twice as many. And we'll get them. So you basically, you get them on here, they hang on here, get them in place, and then you're going to crimp them. But then I'm going to show you how we're going to actually get them to stay. Because one of the things we don't want to do is have super glue globs everywhere. Like you will find, people get frustrated with these and they will put super glue everywhere. And you'll have globs all over the place. And oh, I got, and two of them, two of you guys fell off already. That's okay. Ah, let's go ahead and put, put, them, put them on here. Alright, so these guys go in their spots. And at the one end here, we got one hole right there. I'm just going to push them in. I'm going to put the first one in that spot, second one in that spot, third one that one. Okay, now they will come out easily in here. Okay, they're not going to stay in there yet. So I'm going to show you, we'll, and we're going to go ahead and start this. Usually I will do them all and then I'll go ahead and do this, but we're going to do it we're going to do it the easy way this time. We're going to start them right off the bat. All right. Now, if they are the right height, they will start to they will start to take their positions. I'm going to put a couple on here. Then we're going to crimp them. We're going to use a jewelry tool. And if you don't have a set of jewelry players yet, this is one of the sets of things you want to get. In that set of jewelry players will be a hooked players with a that is totally flat. And that's perfect for doing this. Okay, so we're going to take our pliers like this. We're going to go ahead and we'll put a finger on here and we're going to crimp them over. Now, it's not going to make them stay. But it might make them so he doesn't fall off. Mm -hmm. We'll deal with part one, make him stay in just a minute. Uh, we'll put some more on. And we'll put a few more on. At the moment, we're not going to really worry about too much where they go. We just want to get them on here, and then we'll start lining them up and crimp them. I figure we'll go about. Well, should we go for about four to ten? Go about four to ten. All right. So the next four. Now you'll be tempted to bend these guys into place, but if you're starting out like we're doing right now, you should not need to bend them into place. They're not going to stay in there until we do something. One of the things we want is we want a friction fit. 
we want a friction fit because when maintenance time comes around someday, these handrails need to get removed. And we don't want people to be taking pliers and stuff to try to remove these guys. We want to make it nice and easy so that these handrails come off nice and easy. And we don't want to have glue globs everywhere. Ah, this guy. Oh, no, there's one deformed hand, one deformed stanchion that we'll have to find and we'll deal with. Okay, so we'll put, uh, put them in again. Mm -hmm. About four at a time. Now, these guys will fight you a little bit. And you'll, you'll keep putting them on here and then you give them a crimp. This flat blade guy does a nice job crimping them pretty close. But they are not going to stay. I promise you that. These guys will not stay just from crimping. And some of you are like, oh, well, you just paint them then. then yeah, maybe. But that's not what we want. We want them to stay friction fit so that when we paint them, they're not crooked. We're not going to use paint to seal them into place. And we don't want glue globs everywhere, which I'm sure most of you have seen before. Atherin Blue Box handrails full of globs of glue, especially down here. We don't want that. No, we want handrails in here nicely. We don't want to see them glue globs. So I'm going to show you how to do that. See if we get them all. That's is that one more to go? I think we might have just one more. Alrighty. Get them on there. Okay, we got them all in. Let's lock them into the top spot here. Lock in there by the windows. And then we'll go ahead and uh, hit these guys. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now they're in here, and and they still will slide back and forth. So here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to do this. We got a knife blade, all right? Got our knife blade. We're going to take super glue, and we're going to put it on this paper towel in a spot where we've put a lot of super glue before. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to put a little bit on the blade. We're going to move the, the stanchion off the side. We're going to wipe it. And then we're going to line them up just perfect. And then it's going to stay. When we take the next one, do the same thing. We're going to wipe it and put them exactly right where we want them. And we can keep doing this down the line. Okay, now the glue is not making a glob. We're not making globs. We're getting it just where we want it. We can get them nice and straight up and down. And then they're going to stay and we're going to be able to paint them. Now, if we were ever have to take this off, since we didn't glue the bottom here, it's going to come off nice and easy. Just like that. We'll go right down the line here. We'll get them nice up and down. And we've already kind of crimped them. So once the, and that's super glue, this is metal on metal, which is a perfect thing for super glue like this. Stay nice. They're going to stay nice. So we can go back and we can push them in farther. And they're going to stay nice, straight up and down, just the way we want them. Just like that. And if you got blue box kits, you're putting handrails on. This is, this is my preferred method 
I don't want to see glue at the base of the handrail stanchions and you don't need it because if you get them all on here like this um, the base will be just fine it's this top part that needs to get secured and once it's secured if we had to take this off we can take it off because it's a friction fit on here and I think we just about got it I think we almost got it we got two more We're going to line up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. we got just a second of working time. And then we're good. Okay, now we got it. Okay, now we can uh, bend them. We can smash them in a little bit. We can bend them in so he's not hanging out too far. And there we go. Perfect handrails. Perfect blue box handrails, just like that.